Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Nick Drinks. I'm your host, Nick Britsky, and we are joined again by Randy Walker, who Hello. formerly was our rum expert, and now you are a scotch expert. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. So we are tasting the Royal Lach Nagar. Lach Nagar. Lach 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 Nagar. Yeah, it's not quite as much phlegm as Welsh. Lach Lach Nagar. And I roll the R? Yeah. Okay. And now, another episode of Game of Drinks. Episode 3. Brought to you by Diageo. From the wall. Well, what does it say? Knock, knock. Who's there? Where, my lord? Where? <laughs> Send a raven back to the wall with a message. Who's there? Oh, of course, yes. My lord, a raven from the wall. Yes, yes, go on. It says, a wild boar. A wild boar? Are you calling your king a boar? I'm, I'm, I'm just re reading. <laughs> Relax, you writhing worm. Send a message to the wall. A wild boar who? Oh, oh right, right, right. Yes, yes, sir. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> oh, it arrived, my lord. It says a wild boar. Who's no fun at parties? You dare laugh at your king? <laughs> You're joking with me. Kill him. So we are tasting the Royal Lach Nagar. How was that for my official pronunciation? All right, we have a, a official uh, thumbs up on that. Uh, Royal Lach Nagar. Uh, this is a scotch that is based out of kind of the top of uh, Scotland, it is in the Highlands. Um, it is actually in the Cairngorms uh, Park. Okay. And um, this is the similar latitude of our last episode, which was Delwini, which is the 57th latitude. Sure. And that okay. is put, like about the same as the top of Ontario. Okay. So it's fairly cool climate. Um, not being a big scotch fan, do you drink any scotch? Um, I like unpeated scotches. Okay. For sure. Um, right. I really like Brooklady. Okay. The classic. And you drink a lot of cocktails. You ever have um, scotch and cocktails? I do. I'm not a fan of the smoky flavors that a lot of scotches have. So. Okay. So it wasn't always royal. It actually became royal in 1845 when the queen visited. Okay. Um, before that, it was just Lach Nagar. And 12-year-old, uh, it is uh, straight. Uh, straight um, spirit, so no blend. 40% uh, alcohol, 80, 80 proof, uh, straight barley. So okay. malt. Cheers. Cheers. Little fruity notes on yeah. it. Maybe like some apple or. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite bright. Oh, it's good. 
That's really, really good. I like that. Yeah. So as a non-scotch drinker, tell me yeah. your thoughts. I like it. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. um, there's Yeah, there's practically no burn on this. Um, so it's, uh, you know, I think 40 proof was probably the way to go, uh, 40%. And um, yeah, there's a little bit of barrel notes on yeah, there. Yeah, some, some oakiness and then... Uh, Not a terrible amount of spice, I would say. Yeah, uh, really caramelly. Yep, a little bit of caramel. Um, there, there's that apple. There's definitely a great apple flavor in here. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, you smell the apple for sure, and then mm. you definitely taste it too. So um, I would yeah. say, you know, if you're if you're not a big Scotch fan, this might be a good entry level Scotch for you. Um, the only negative we're gonna say is, um, unless you found one of these, um, we have not seen this for sale in Michigan uh, in a while. Um, obviously, in your, if you're in another state, uh, you might be able to find the base spirit. Uh, what we did last uh, episode with Del Winnie's, we got to taste their um, base product with the Game of Thrones series. We couldn't do that this time because we don't have it available in Michigan. So um, we are just drinking the Game of Thrones one. I like that. That's yeah. a, a good, a good non-Scotch drinker Scotch. Yeah, a good. I, I say that that sounds a good point. Yeah. Um, the other thing I noticed is I did find this online for sale. Okay. And tell me what you think it's going for. This went for about forty bucks when we had it. Uh, I would say probably... So this is the secondary market for this bottle? Yeah, I'd say 25. Higher than 25. 35? Oh man. 40 for secondary market? 400. Oh, 400. You said yeah. 40. No, okay. so 40 is what this was going oh, for okay. when we had it in the state. Gotcha, okay. So this bottle right now, gotcha. unopened, okay. which we've ruined, is going for <laughs> $400. Okay, yeah. so... so. Now, when you think about it yeah. that way, does this taste like a four hundred dollar product? No. So I, I, no. So at that point, this has become a collectible. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and um, similar to the last time I had you on, yeah. when we talked about the, for uh, the yeah the novelty. For of the novelty. It. Granted, this is a much tastier product. Yeah, this than is much better than the, the Nuka Dark Rum for sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think this is great. So secondary, hey, if you're a collector, if you got four hundred dollars to spend, you know. That's up to you. Um, but certainly if you find this on the shelf, I think this is a great buy at 40 As I say, if you're spending $400 on it, are you really going to open it and drink it? Or are you going to... You're going to put it up on a shelf. It. Yeah. 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 Um, just to be clear, we got all of these for 400 So yeah. that is the difference that they're actually... Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. So very different. Um, anything else you want to add to this? No, I like it. I can see this as a, a scotch I might consume more often. Yeah. Well, Randy, thank you so much for joining us as always. Uh, if you like Nick Drinks, you can find more of us on YouTube at youtube.com slash Nick Drinks. You can find us at nickdrinks.com and nickdrinks.com spelled out on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks so much. Cheers. Cheers. Did you see the documentary on the guy who nailed prices right, like had every price memorized? No, but that's delightful. He, he went to like 15 airings, had a spreadsheet and had everything memorized. He'd shout out the exact like price and like nail it. Nice. <laughs>